Hi boys and girls, I'm Mera and I want to talk about why I still use Arch, by the way, even though uh, I don't like it. The truth is that I hate to be in constant anxiety, because an update can actually kill my system and also I'm too lazy to switch back to a non-bleeding edge distro, like for example Fedora, Debian or I don't know, Ubuntu, I guess. Um, so why I'm still with Arch? The reality is uh, just that Arch, despite being a bleeding edge distro, is super stable on my system. And I even edit the repos, I use a custom version of Pacman from the Cache OS repository. And with all the modification, every update is fast and strangely enough reliable. Also, thanks to Arch, I can learn more about Linux with manual install and the great documentation. Yeah. Uh, I know, I stole Gen 2, so technically I'm already, uh, already no more than a normal Linux user. But guess what, I'm still a beginner. I'm still learning how to do script in Bash, or to make everything cohesive with my ecosystem. I'm still learning, even though I use Linux for about 60 years and more. Arch is not a uh, stable distro, but for some reason I have less problem with it than Debian or Fedora, because usually Debian kills itself after an update. Yes, I destroy Debian more than Arch Linux, I don't know why, I don't know how, honestly, I don't know. Uh, and also Fedora on my system disables some kernel function that I need. Yeah, I know, I can probably fix that problem, because you know Linux you can fix everything. But Arch works just fine on my system, despite its, despite the, its problem. It's strange, but yeah. Also, I'm not leaving Arch because it's too good to leave it. <laughs> I used it because it's the best distro for tiling window managers, because I use Hyperland, I can't go back to a desktop environment, because the truth is I'm not good anymore with desktop environment. I'm much faster with a uh, Windows uh, a window manager, like Hyperland, like Sway, like... Uh, uh, Niri, like uh, I don't know, BSPWM, DK, a lot because I try a lot of window manager. Hyperland is just better for me because it's stylish, so I use this. Um, don't get me wrong, you can also use Hyperland on other distros, it's not a problem because I use it on Fedora, OpenSUSE, Alpine, even. But on Arch, it's very easy to install and configure. On the distro, I need to use the Nix package manager or compile everything from scratch. Why I need to use the Nix package manager? Because, for example, if you want to use Hyperland on Ubuntu or Debian, that they usually have st uh, stable packages, so all packages but stable, you can't even use the latest version of Hyperland. The Nix package manager can help with that, but it's still not a great experience in my opinion. So this is it, Arch is harder to install and learn, for sure. I installed this version of Arch manually, yeah. But at the same time, it's faster to configure than any other distro in my experience. That's all.